Hello again. UKIP are holding their spring conference in Exeter this weekend. We can go there live. UKIP leader Nigel Farage is there. Good afternoon. You've been talking about your party being more than a vehicle for the protest vote today. Why do you believe that? Well, you know, we've done well over the last year. If you look at the last four parliamentary by-elections, we've come second in three of them um, and a very good third in another. Uh, so there's been a big upsurge in support for UKIP. And, and what we hear from our political class is, oh, well, it's a protest vote. Just a little midterm protest, nothing to worry about. And actually, they're wrong. You know, whilst there are some people voting for us who do want to stick two fingers up to the career politicians in all three parties, and I understand that, but most people are voting for UKIP because they see us as providing, you know, really positive policy alternatives for where this country is right now. You still don't have an MP in Parliament, though? No, we don't, and it's funny because our strength is our weakness. You know, you're as likely to find a UKIP supporter in an old Labour town in the north of England as you are a Lib Dem village in Cornwall. Our support is, is pretty uniform across the whole country. What we don't at the moment have are real hot spots of UKIP concentration. And really, what I was saying to the conference this morning was, we've got the county council elections coming up on May the 2nd this year. We need to make breakthroughs into those county council elections to build up those hot spots because that's how the Lib Dems built up from a handful of MPs to 60 MPs. It was by doing well through local government elections and building on that success. And that is the next stage for this party. So you were on familiar territory in your speech, which we, we heard some of a short time ago, uh, talking about immigration, the other party's uh, stance on that. But you also talked about renewable energy. Uh, what's your drive on renewable energy? Well, I mean, here we are, uh, having signed up in Brussels to a series of carbon emission targets um, and pledged that by 2020, over 20% 20 of our electricity will come from renewable energy. And as a result of that, there's been a mad dash to build wind turbines on our landscapes and our seascapes. Um, and the problem is, not only does it cost an absolute fortune by putting an extra 12% on everybody's electricity bill, no, the real problem is it doesn't work because we can't store electricity and when the wind doesn't blow, these things produce no electricity at all. And so we have to have conventional backup the whole time. There's not even a saving in terms of carbon dioxide emissions. It is one of the greatest follies that I've seen in this country. And yet the Lib Lab Con are all committed to it uh, because it's the sort of politically correct thing uh, to do is to be seen to be green. Uh, but we must stop wasting billions of pounds of money, stop piling on the pressure on household bills and scrap the project right now. So people there uh, at your conference, obviously uh, UKIP supporters, UKIP members uh, will know that you've got that message as well. But are they saying to you uh, at your conference that actually when they're, they're going around campaigning, when they're on people's doorsteps, it is really just immigration, it is just Europe that they want to talk about? Well, uh, no. I mean, Eastleigh was very interesting and I spent a lot of time uh, supporting Diane James in Eastleigh and knocked at a lot of doors in very cold weather um, and what came out again and again and again were that jobs and housing were absolutely at the top of people's concerns in Eastleigh and of course if you have a massive increase in the population of this country uh, with a potential of course another big migratory wave coming next year when we open the doors completely to very poor countries like Bulgaria and Romania, that more people mean more people, I'm afraid, out of work because of the massive oversupply of the unskilled labour market and pressure on all the services, from GP surgeries to primary school places to the benefits system. And this is a very, very real concern. And I think that the Westminster elites uh, just don't understand how genuinely upset and fearful millions of people in this country are. UKIP leader Nigel Farage, thank you. Thank you.